Hi guys, welcome to stop 13, the New York City Roadshow for Intersect Aspen. Here I am at Susan Inglet Gallery. And go on and with the artist of the show who is showing with us at Intersect Aspen. He's gonna give us a tour of his show that unfortunately was installed right before the quarantine, but we get to see it and it will live on for much longer. Hi everybody, welcome to uh, my virtual my virtual show. Exactly. Uh, I've been digging. These are um, some drawings that I've been working on. They're inked on mulberry paper. And um, th they're all basically, the theme of them is environment and the idea of contact and where we have connection. So it's where the body connects with the earth, where the water, a body of water connects with the body of land where the sky connects with the water and where our bodies connect with each other. And um, it's really about the kind of energy that transfers at that, at that point of connection. The kind of energy that transfers from a body to a body, whether it's a body of us as humans or a body of earth, like the body of water and the body of earth. Absolutely. Um, Connection is very important right now, even though these were made before quarantine, as we were just chatting about, <laughs> they're very apropos. I had no idea that, uh, that we would all be so disconnected um, in this moment, but actually I've continued to make these drawings while I've been in quarantine um, and looking out the window and I'm looking at the mountains and I'm looking at the water, and um, this feeling of connection has always been important to me because um, at that moment of connection where two bodies meet, there's a transfer of energy. Absolutely. And that's where I feel like, you know, I draw my life energy and my, my inspiration and my excitement about being alive from. And it also makes me feel the connection of all things together, which allows me to feel the continuity of gesture through all life and space and time, which, you know, Let's face it, when you're sitting alone in your quarantine for a couple of days, it's nice to reconnect with that absolutely. truth. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, it's it, important to sort of think about how the world functions and how we have had to hit pause on our interaction with the world in a major way. And so to be able to be mindful and re-engage with connection is so important right now. And, and it's interesting, you know, when we pause on um, the larger human activities, yeah. it's interesting to see what actually hasn't paused. Like, you know, the, the moon keeps rising, the moon keeps setting, the sun Absolutely. keeps rising, the clouds keep moving. <clears throat> and really, um, I, I have noticed that in the stillness of this pause, it really highlights um, how much isn't paused, you know? A hundred percent. And I mean, I think the rhythms and routines of the earth continue. And we've seen that with the routines that have been paused, there has been some cleaning <laughs> of the earth. It's you know, you look at photos of New Delhi and Kathmandu and um, just the lack of planes, that it's a, it's a whole new city. Yeah. A anyhow, shall we move along to... Um, these... You can go in any order you would like. So I was, um, I was doing these, these are, uh, these are oil paint on canvas and linen. And mm -hmm. I was doing these. Um, Let's just do a little close up so we can see the texture. I was doing these simultaneously as I was doing the drawings. Um, for me, uh, dr drawing is kind of the fundamental process in painting and in drawing and when I make objects. Um, the drawing is kind of the root of it. So I was working on these oil paintings and these ink drawings and also some smaller pencil drawings same time and often I was working in an iterative way you know like I would um this Beautiful. this painting rise like I started it as a painting and then I did a couple of versions of it as a drawing then I went back to it as a painting that was informed by the drawings that I had made and then I made a couple more drawings and then I finished the painting so it's it's kind of um a way for me to stay connected with the idea Rather than, rather than getting, I can tend to get a little obsessed with the medium. By going back and forth between painting and drawing, it kind of allows me to, through constant 
transposition and iteration to really say, like, forget, forget about the fact that it's pain. Let's think about what, it's the, what, the, what the actual energy of the thing is. What's the real meaning of it? And by, you know, going back and forth, like, okay, what does it look like this way in pencil? What's it look like this way in oil paint? What's it gonna look like this way in ink? By going back and forth and back and forth, I start to get this almost like um, iterative, kaleidoscopic understanding of what the subject matter is. And it, it, it kind of helps me arrive to a more total image than if I just stuck with um, just one medium, maybe. Of course. I mean, it's, you know, utilizing different parts of your brain and utilizing different parts of your sort of creative hands, right? Yeah, and you know, I'm also, I mean, to say obsessive, when I have a paintbrush in my hand or a, a pencil in my hand, I'm like a dog with a bone, you know, at a certain <laughs> moment, I have to be like, okay, put it down and pick up the other thing, you know, because otherwise it can just become this like, Oh, drawing, 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 or painting, 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 you know, and, and um, there is something about the um, changing perspective that allows me to see these other facets of the idea and just not, um, not get stuck, you know. Absolutely, and I mean, I think, I think as you talk about connection and as you talk about sort of the differentiation between your technique in drawing and in painting, one sees this sort of poignant connection that exists in these pieces in a very different way than one sees in the drawings. Well, yeah, I mean, in, in, in subject, you know, the, Absolutely. The, these, these are really also about the idea of an iterative change. Um, the moon rises, it sets. The sun rises, it sets. The moon changes a little bit on its next rise and then sets. You know, the tide comes in, the tide comes out. Each iteration is like this cyclical, um, it's, a, it's a cyclical expression of this gesture that's basically a circle, you know? And by working in, in these ways, it, it makes me able to, I mean, hopefully my intention is, is to allow to incorporate that, um, that iterative circle logic in, into the structure of the image so you can kind of feel it. Of course. Of course, and you know, circles are the most perfect image, right? And they're, they're in a way, right? They're it's never like, ending. And if you think about that, that there's, there's just symbols that date back for centuries, and it's an interesting thing to sort of pause on that as well. It makes me feel good to remember that because I've been drawing pictures of the sun and the moon since I was like two years old. And when I think about the fact that, like, you know, it's been happening over and over again through time, I don't yeah. feel like I'm just, you know, like, there you go. Stuck on the same <laughs> well, there you go. You're on the same circle. Do you want to talk about these small drawings in front or anything yeah, else? Yeah, sure. So, the, yeah, these, you know, this this one in the upper right hand corner with the two guys uh -huh. is the is one of the central versions of the painting that we were just looking at. Oh yeah. And this one of the woman with the moon is the pencil version of the painting that we we're just looking at, and this. This guy over here, beachgoer. I have to come back man, here. The, Sorry. Um, uh, I, I, we're gonna try to get it without a reflection. And yeah, and up above on top is um, a version of the woman on the blanket. So these these are just. Um, I keep saying the word iterative. I'm gonna say it one more. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna iteratively utter the word iteration. These are just another. Um, kind of stop within this non-stopping gesture of this image. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like, um, you know, it's like a, the wave is continuous, but then you take like snapshots of different sections. So the wave of this gesture of each of these ideas, you know, that's, that's one shot of the section and this is one shot of the section. Absolutely, and I think it's nice because it really creates a circle of your creativity from the studies over here to the larger scale drawings to the paintings. Um, and so what are you working on now? Right now I am in um, what I've been calling my quarantine studio. It's, uh, it's my bedroom. Oh. And, uh, so right after, right after the show went up, um, yeah, New York closed down 
and then the building that my studio is in closed down because somebody in the building became sick and mm -hmm. we just had to close the building. So um, I moved what I could carry to my to my wife's my wife's studio in Beacon, New York, and she was she was generous enough to give me the bedroom, and it's become this compressed studio, which um, which is kind of great because I've never been able to live in that such a compressed environment of drawing. It's basically this whole wall of drawings in a um, you know maybe like a 175 square foot room. So it's almost like living in a planetarium. It's kind of wonderful. It, it's great, and the and the and the window in the room. Actually, I'm I'm looking out at it. When I look out the window, it, it's this is this is basically what it looks like when I wake up in the morning. Well, there's no water there. There's actually a parking lot there, but you just look. <laughs> but one can imagine, yeah, right? One can dream. But I wake up in the morning and I, oh, you know, like I'm looking out at this. Um, Mount Beacon, and um, it's great. Um, I feel like a bird in a drawing desk right now. That's wonderful. I'm really excited to see what comes out of your 175 square feet. <laughs> Me too. Is there anything you want to add? Um, no, not really. I'm really excited that, um, I mean, I love mountains, and I'm excited that uh, Aspen is... Virtually happening. Virtually happening. Well, thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to meet you, and you I look forward well. to chatting with you next week. Yes. Thanks again. Thank